Hey, it's Cody from the Keepers of Nerddom. I wanted to just take a moment and first off, just have some random uh, news from just nerdy things and crazy stuff and life. Behind me is a uh, little Samson and my uh, assistant over here, Iron Man. Oh yeah, it's a thing. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. You know who you are? What's up? So uh, stay tuned, by the way, 7th grade for a special little surprise at the end. So, a few nerdy things going on. Uh, let's see. I have been painting Warhammer 40K. And let me just say, that has been a fantastic little journey. Is this a green bug? Ah, it's a green one. I don't like the green ones. Let's get the blues. The blue bugs are the best ones. These are my little blue scare bugs I've been painting. And let me tell you, it takes a lot of time, energy, and effort and hours. Uh... Also, funny, uh, semi-nerdy news, apparently Amber Heard, she is down to 10 minutes or less in Aquaman 2, after her whole trial thing with Johnny Depp, but she's also apparently now lost her contract with future uh, Aquaman movies, so they finally have cut her out, which is probably good. Ironically, though, it's the funny thing that we're still doing, like, declaring her guilty before proven guilty, but the things that have been shown also are like, okay, she's literally done these things because of the video proof and the messages we've heard too. So it's kind of that weird thing, but, um, that's a big deal. Let's see behind me is actually little Samson. I had to get this, uh, essentially like a Japanese bootleg copy from like wish.com kind of deal. Cause actual cartridges of this game cost $400. It's the original Nintendo game that looks like on the edge of super Nintendo crazy crazy great game so if you guys ever get a chance to play it it is it is quite literally the best regular nintendo game as far as just graphics and it puts mario to shame in some ways in playability which is crazy because i love mario but even uh you know i think kirby could give it a run for its money just for fun playability but this game is fantastic uh let's see other nerdy things that have been going on you know What's interesting, too, I just actually got to sell uh, really uh, a Heroclix figure for a good price because their their legacy cards keep coming out where they reintroduce an old fig that, you know, you could make a buck off of. And now all of a sudden they're worth 50 bucks or more for just the fact that they they redid a card for it, which is cool. You know, for those of us that stopped playing at a certain point, because I stopped only because, well, two reasons. One, the, the rules changed in a drastic way that made no sense. And two, uh, this is where it got really weird, was they, they made the point costs on figures, if you play hero clicks so low that it, it just, your old stuff couldn't even play in the same, in the same realm anymore. It's kind of silly. Just, it was crazy. Uh, let's see. Um, we have done a lot of crazy stuff. I got to shoot a, a flintlock pistol recently with my brother that was ridiculously cool i will say as on a very nerdy level guys you want to get into a nerdy thing it is it's warhammer 40k because it's it's a crazy dark universe and just how depressing everything is but yet it's such a fascinating universe because it's not that you're ever playing the good guys everybody's just some level of not great and you just have to figure out who you want to play of that. And it's kind of a fun thing of you're everybody's kind of a villain and you're all just trying to fight to win, to become the best villain, which is kind of a neat concept. There's actually a great RPG system that I would have loved to, uh, play with some, uh, good friends. And we never got to it where it was, instead of being a superhero, you are the super villain. And that's the, uh, that's the unfortunate thing, uh, that we just don't have anymore is just, it would be so much fun to explore that because honestly, sometimes the villains make the best parts of stories. Uh, other news, I was watching a thing this morning, just how funny that uh, old Mortal Kombat games would literally cheat against you. I thought that was pretty entertaining because why not? You know, why wouldn't they cheat against you? So the code would just get harder and harder and would predict what you were going to do based on what they saw and would like overwrite your, your moves and things. So... It's interesting how video games have changed. Um, in uh, Elden Ring, just again, great game. Haven't played it as much lately because once you beat it, it's like okay, you want to go find some other things. But it's also sometimes finding the time to truly play that game in a big way. Uh, let's see other things that were exciting. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Uh, we finished Moon Knight, and it was good, other than the fact that there wasn't enough Moon Knight and. They just had a random superhero 
have to save him at the end in part. And yet he saved himself. It was kind of, there was just little plot hole issues that were fascinating. We've already talked about Dr. Strange Multi multiverse of madness, a uh, she Hulk trailer. Watch that. A lot of people online are commenting on the CGI and quite frankly, yeah, it, it looks a little cheesy on her for some reason. Can't quite figure it out, but I'm intrigued because ever since collecting hero clicks, I've always had a, there's a bit of a soft spot for uh, a few uh, ladies in the Avengers core a squirrel girl's primarily for me. Like, side note, you you want to be an uber nerd, go search and understand who is the most powerful Avenger, and truly it's actually Squirrel Girl if you look behind the scenes, which is really hilarious. And then She-Hulk, for some reason, I've always enjoyed her as a character. And there was a third, but I can't, can't remember. It might be Black Widow. I don't know. Might be Black Widow. There was a point where I really enjoyed Captain Marvel, but then her movie came out, and it just kind of ruined her for for me. But anyway, yeah, so that that show looks interesting, but the CGI on her looks kind of not great. And for some reason, the Hulk looked fine. But we are going to see Abomination again. And so I was watching another YouTube video person, and they, they mentioned that, well, the last time we saw uh, Abomination was in one of these movies, and he mentioned it, and it was the wrong movie. It was like, no, we saw him in Shang-Chi. And it was really awesome just to see him show up again. And now we're going to see him again. And it's the same Emil Blonsky, uh, Blonsky again, but also the same actor, which is like, that's really good. This is really cool. But can he transform? Cool. Like, I'm, I'm intrigued. So this is this is the good stuff. Uh, all right. This is just a little bit of rantings and ravings. And so at the end of this, uh, a few questions, seventh grade, for your uh, your test, if you'd like to get some answers. What were the tanks of the ancient world? Was it tanks, camels, chariots, or Russian bears? And the answer is chariots, okay? They were metal, they could run you over. Now, who led the barbarian hordes against Rome? Was it Attila the Hun, Jimmy the Squirrel, Julian the Savage, or Muhammad Ali? One of those is a boxer from the 1900s. And wasn't alive back then. So it's actually Attila the Hun. The Huns were the barbarians that invaded Rome. So keep that in mind. Last one is this. Uh, ooh. Rome was attacked by this group from Germany that they called nice people, barbarians, Mongols, or Russians. And if you're paying attention for five seconds in the last question, you'll know it was barbarians. Anyway, I hope that helps a little bit. And I'll see you all tomorrow, and some of you will have discovered this tonight. So this has been Cody from the Keepers of Nerddom. Take care.